Hello, hello, boys and girls. Um, LPR Films, I'm back um, at it again with another Minecraft video. Um, sorry I haven't posted in a while. Uh, you know, I was busy with finals and I finally got some free time um, now that I'm done with school. Um, so I've just, I've done a bunch of stuff off uh, camera in the world, um, you know, just like mining here, as you can see. Um, when I had breaks in between classes or tests and had nothing better to do. Um, I accidentally, uh, actually recorded this video already, but I forgot to record the audio, so I'm going back and recording it again. Um, not too much has changed. The biggest thing would be the, the house that I've, uh, built. The rest of it i just been, like, you know, flattening some land for some new projects or, uh, doing some resource harvesting. Um, like I chopped up a bunch of trees to get, uh, materials for all the projects we're going to be doing. Um, I want to build some automated farms next, um, and yeah, let me sleep real quick, and then I'll give you guys the proper tour. Um, this is the house that I've built, by the way. Um, I'm just going to run through it real quick to get to the bed, and then I'll stop and give you guys a tour of everything. Um, yeah, I hope for those of you that also had finals and schools wrapping up, I hope that's going well for you. Um, for those of you still in quarantine, I... I hope you're not going too stir crazy um, and everything's fine. Um, but yeah, so let me start out here. So yes, this is my new house. Um, I first built it in a creative test world just to figure out, you know, the build pattern and stuff I wanted to go with. Um, sorry if you guys can hear anything in the background. My neighbors upstairs are really noisy. Um, but yeah, I, I knew I wanted to go with this build pal, with, you know, the, the dark oak, the, the black stone, and the, the stone bricks. Um, so I built it in creative first just to figure out how I wanted to do it. Um, connected it to my old little house here because I, I didn't want to destroy it. I wanted to remember it being there. Um, but yeah, so over here we have a map wall um, that I'm going to keep going to filling out as new things are built and as we go. Um, this area here is a little kitchen area, um, you know, perfectly functional smokers and a little pantry area right there. Um, here we have a little fish tank, um, which is nice to look at. I wanted to break up the floor, that's why I put the fish tank and the carpets, because um, it was the same exact pattern as the uh, ceiling and it also helps me hide um, light sources so there's no torches on the first floor except for the old house there's no torches just uh, end rods uh, lanterns and glowstone hidden underneath there um, yeah this is a fully functioning the the ore processing and smelting area oh I forgot I had cracked stone brick and all of theirs um, yeah, so there's stone cutter, uh, some smithing tables, which is now how you, um, upgrade your diamond tools to netherite tools. Um, just a little decorative area over here, um, with a cartography table, loom, lectern, just look nice. Um, but up here, um, there's just a villager in here that I cured. Um, my storage system, though, is the highlight of this house. This is the main reason why I built a new house, because I needed room for more storage. Now I definitely have that. Um, I like this uh, style. Um, if you put an, a block in an item frame, um, it becomes an entity. Um, so then you can also place a sign on top of it, which you can label. Um, so you can have all of these nice chests labeled and to have blocks there so you can see exactly what's inside them. Um, I have chests for all of the major blocks here. Um, the sad thing is that you can't do that for items, really, because if you put the sign over it, the items don't stick out as much as, see, like, this pumpkin block would work. Um, so I can't do it for these, but, yeah, I have this whole storage system. A bunch of these chests are still empty. Um, these chests I've been slowly filling up with just resources that I've harvested. Um, so all the stone just from, like, the area that I dug out down there. This uh, sand and sandstone um, is from the big area over there that I flattened, which I will go show you now. Um, this is the area where we're going to do our next big project. Um, I also built a bridge, eh, bridge right there and a bridge here. Um, 
Yeah, so this whole area I flattened because I'm going to build a giant desert temple oasis type thing here for a bunch of villagers to live in. And I'll do some smaller farms over there. I think I'm going to do an automatic cactus farm and a vine farm. Um, yeah, so this is going to be the next big project that we work on. Um, up here, um, the sugarcane farm has been working in the background, you know, good and solid. Um, giving me plenty of stuff to trade with the villagers um, that we get there. Um, I'm next. I'm going to be building some uh, other automatic farms here. Uh, I'm thinking of doing the automatic pumpkin and melon farm next. Um, they'll be completely lossless designs, um, so you won't lose any of the crops that you harvest. Um, and then there's also going to be another wart farm, a, a chorus fruit farm. Um, yeah, I'm going to build tons of farms up here. Probably also an iron farm, because um, it doesn't have to be a good distance away from that village um, for it to work properly. Um, so, yeah, that is a good overview of what I have done since the last video came out um, and what I plan to do next. So, yeah, um, thank you guys for sticking with the channel, even though I haven't been active in a while. I hope you guys can understand. Um, and, yeah. Thank you guys very much, and adios.